Investing successfully can be difficult to do on your own. That's why so many investors choose mutual funds. Mutual funds can make building an investment portfolio easier by offering several advantages over investing in stocks, bonds, and money market instruments. But understanding costs associated with mutual fund investing can also be complex. It's important to know where your money goes and how it's working for you. To help make sense of it all, let's look at an example. Meet Paul and Lisa. They recently received an inheritance of $10,000. After consulting with their financial advisor about their situation and financial goals, Paul and Lisa decided to invest their inheritance in a mutual fund. Their advisor explained that the costs of investing in Canadian mutual funds are generally reported as the Management Expense Ratio, or MER. The MER represents the percentage of a mutual fund's average net assets, paid out each year to cover the costs of managing and operating the fund, including taxes. The returns you earn as an investor reflect performance that is reported after the fund's MER is deducted. The types of costs that make up the MER include investment management, operating expenses, tax, and compensation to the mutual fund dealer and your advisor for the ongoing services and financial advice they provide to you. The mutual fund that Paul and Lisa chose to invest in has an MER of 2.2%. In this situation, the cost for a given year for Paul and Lisa's $10,000 investment is $220. Let's look at how that money is put to work for them. A portion of that $220 covers the costs associated with the services provided by the professional investment management team, who conducts research and implements the investment strategy that guides how and in which securities the fund will invest. It is these important decisions that drive the return of a fund. The MER on Paul and Lisa's investment also includes the annual administrative expenses used to pay for regulatory requirements and day-to-day -day expenses of operating the fund. Each fund is required to pay sales tax on management and administrative fees, and this is also included in the MER. Lastly, a portion of the $220 represents compensation for ongoing service and advice provided to Paul and Lisa, known as a trailing commission. This money goes to the mutual fund dealer that services Paul and Lisa's account, and the dealer pays a portion of this to the advisor. Paul and Lisa's advisor earns this commission by providing them with valuable financial planning advice and services that will help them reach their financial goals. Now that we've broken down the MER, remember that investment costs are just one aspect you should consider when contemplating purchasing a mutual fund. Information about a fund's investment costs is available in its latest fund facts, simplified prospectus, or management report of fund performance. These important documents are available on a fund company's website or through cedar.com. Or talk to your advisor to better understand the costs associated with investing in mutual funds or other investment products. It's important to know what you are paying for so you can make well-informed decisions and understand the value of what you are getting from your investments. CI Investments is proud to partner with financial advisors across Canada. We believe investors are most successful when they follow a sound financial plan developed with the assistance of a qualified professional.